If you want to call me the lead dealer, then go ahead. It doesn't take much to be the lead heroin dealer in a town with only 2,500 people. I will accept my mistakes, and I know that I destroyed families, and I know that I hurt people. But what about this doctor who killed people? He doesn't feel responsible, but everybody's praising this man. You don't give a 19-year-old morphine for a bad ACL. Why was he even handing out fentanyl patches? Isn't that out, like yeah. near death? Like That's like a hospice drug. How many of his patients overdosed? We suspected around 10 that we knew of. There was a death threat saying that I should be hung for doing this, telling us we need to stop this film or else. He, he said, stop the film and, or. Yeah, and, and I was said, like, or what? Or what? Right. You know, tell me what you're right. going to do. We obviously have a huge freaking problem. Yeah. I know he had a lot of support from his patients. And I had it very difficult getting cooperation because we were the bad guys. We stopped him from prescribing and they wanted their pills. 67-year-old man said, I hope your house burns down with your family in it. It's like the whole town is a cult. Dr. Massey did it here, but there's doctors all over this state that are doing it. Welcome to West Virginia. It happened around the country, and it was much worse in some areas. The distributors, they were actually legal pill pushers. Does it not strike you as odd that large shipments of opioids were going to very small towns? Well, I guess it depends on what's going on in the town.